Hi, my name is Jennifer Jensen Valente. I am a student at Western Governors University. Student ID number is 0002802802. My course is C132, Elements of Effective Communication. My speech today is Music in Your Life. My purpose, the purpose of my speech is to reinforce to my audience that being a musician is beneficial to all individuals, young and old alike. And if they don't play anymore or never had the chance, they should either start now or simply start to play again. My central idea make, is that music makes you a better, happier, stronger, well-adjusted individual from the inside out and that we should take every opportunity to embrace it. My ideal audience would be adults that have attended a self-help seminar. People attending would most likely be those looking to make changes in their life for the better, looking to be happier, well-balanced, better have a better family life, interactions, career, and other self-improvement areas. The topic would also be beneficial to a larger group. The topic is appropriate for any person of any age who would like to see an improvement in their lives or looking for a new hobby or curious for a child or among many other reasoning. The significance of this speech is very applicable to my audience because they are searching for something to help reconnect them with themselves and the world around them. My thesis statement is that research shows that music holds great power for all individuals because music greatly improves our interpersonal skills and has the ability to refine the human mind, body, and spirit. My two main points are that music greatly improves our interpersonal skills and that music has the ability to refine the human mind and body and spirit. To begin. Hi, thanks for coming out. I hope you're enjoying the conference. My name's Jennifer and my speech is on music in our lives, in all of our lives. Um, just to get started, so music is at the core of every human and at the heart of mankind. Music is alive within us and within the world around us. Recent discoveries have proven that music is at the center of all communications, cultures, and civilizations. While humans have only been actually writing, for about 3,500 years, archaeologists have now found flutes over 37,000 years and older. These discoveries were made by Nicholas Conrad of the University of Tübingen in Germany, which was highlighted in the National Geographic and Science Magazine. Research shows that music holds great power, that because music great and because music greatly improves our lives our interpersonal skills and has the ability to refine the human mind body and spirit while narrowing down the myriad of benefits of music i'd really like to focus on these main two points one music greatly improves our interpersonal skills two music has the ability to refine the human mind body and spirit this is why music matters so much to me. Many years ago, I learned the truth about that resonates with everything in my world, which, according to Google, that everyone from Theodore Roosevelt to John C. Maxwell has been attributed to coining the phrase. So it's now known as a true as a general truism. And it's simple as this: Nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. And it's true. So let me tell you a little bit about why I care about music. And you. With that in mind, um, so with that in mind, music <coughs> for me is one of the biggest influences of my life. It has been from the beginning, even though I've let it slip away from time to time because there have been too many distractions and too many calls to my needs um, and other priorities. My happiness and fun things tend to get slipped first. Regardless, I've always been one that's been moved by music. Music reaches my heart and my soul long before any other interaction with the world around me does. It doesn't matter if it's a cappella, a vocal piece, a purely instrumental, orchestral, full band, or a humble instrument. Just sharing its soul and of they that willed it. I just knew there was more than music education than I was able to teach myself out of the Bastion piano books or what I had learned in elementary music class, learning about the singing about the states and learning everybody's favorite, <laughs> the recorder. I begged my mother to let me learn piano in second grade and with my parents' permission, I signed myself up, without my parents' permission, I signed myself up for beginning band in sixth grade and learning the clarinet. 
Not only did I survive sixth grade band and learning the clarinet, I ended up additionally learning the organ, all the clarinets, the sax, all the saxophones, and flute. I also sing tenor. I'm a firm believer that music did make me smarter. It's a, I was in the top 10 of a very large high school class, received multiple awards and over 30 scholarships. In fact, the first time I went to college, was I went majoring on music performance on clarinet and saxophone with over 30, or with many scholarships. But because music increased my math skills, I also double majored in civil engineering, and it was all tied together with math. I was even more coordinated in the pool and subdivided my strokes as I'm going, and it's a one and a two and a three and a four and a, and my rhythm worked. And I took seventh in state championships, and I swam anchor on the team relays. Music, no matter what, impacts every single aspect of your life. And as I progressed through life, I noticed that I was more dri driven, determined, and disciplined than most of my peers. And I aimed higher, taking those chances on things that I might not have qualified for, but I knew I could excel at. And I did. There are so many reasons that music improves our lives. One of the largest are the interpersonal skills that we develop along the way. From being a better communicator, active listener, team player, thoughtful attention, attention to tonations and nonverbal communications, and so much more. These skills come in handy in every single day, in our careers, in our homes, with our families, with our friends, and especially with our spouses. And this brings me to my main point that I mentioned before. Music greatly improves our interpersonal skills. However, let's not just take my word for it. The Metropolitan School of Arts has a great article, 14 Reasons Everyone Should Take Music Lessons, and a few of those points were perfect in strengthening my reasoning here. Let me let, tell you a little bit about what they said. Playing an instrument requires you to listen very carefully. You have to learn to hear when you are playing a wrong note in order to correct yourself. Tuning your instrument means hearing if the pitch you're playing is high, also known as sharp, or low, also known as flat. When playing in an ensemble, you have to listen to the melody and you play softer than the melody or you carry the melody. Training listening skills teaches us how to be reflective and thoughtful. Cooperation is an, an important aspect of being successful in life. Playing an instrument requires you to work well with others to make music. In band and orchestra settings, you must learn how to cooperate with the people around you. Also, in order to, for a group to make beautiful music, each player and section must learn how to listen to each other and play together. When you become a musician or a vocalist, you become part of a bigger community. Not only is it fun to play the music that you enjoy, but it feels great to join together with others to create that unified sound and that perfect sound of harmony. Friendships and relationships are strengthened through common interests and artists typically find their most meaningful and longest lasting relationships through working with others who share their art form. Now, per Arthur's Bildman and Elling, and their article in the Journal of Neuroscience, learning to play an instrument helps people to develop and retain listening skills, along with additional pattern recognitions, random speech sounds, and higher brain functions, even as we age, suggesting that musical education and practices protect against certain cognitive declines. Now, in a white paper published by Brandon Bargill, the Israel Studies of Musicology, um, and Barlin University, they conclude with their observations and experiments that music forms part of our lives and provides pleasure and satisfaction. And at the same time, this research suggests that learning to play music can also carry side of benefits. One of these is the potential for improved interpersonal communication skills through a key factor shared with both activities, listening. Music offers boundless opportunities for developing listening skills. But applying this learning outside of music does not occur automatically. The improvement of interpersonal communication through music is dependent upon making conscious connections between listening skills developed in a musical context and the application of these skills in other contexts. The research proposes that children who participate in an intervention including broad range musical activities that places emphasis on voice and in speech and singing will show significantly greater improvement in their interpersonal communication than children in a, con in a control group who do not participate in this intervention. It is expected that the more active the child in these musical activities, the greater will be the improvement in the communication at the end of the intervention. Now to go on that, they had included this great um, 
figure in their report. And you see here, they've got the children in the control group are the red ones, and they were not introduced to music at all in during the study. And the people and the children in the blue are notated that was the experimental group. Now the experimental group, like we stated, had access to music and was introduced to music along the way. And you can see that the differences showing the improvements in the interpersonal skills before and after the intervention in the control group. And you see that that experimental group was raised over one whole point, whereas the control group only raised maybe a, quart, a, a fourth of that. Now I think that Garcia from Life Hack statement really said it eloquently that becoming a successful becoming successful requires that you be a good listener. That, and musicians are groomed to acquire that skill early on in their development. Indeed, research has shown that learning to play a musical instrument has a beneficial effect on the areas of your brain that processes sound. An effect that lasts even into old age. Listening is an important skill to have as ability to make sense of speech and complicated strings of words and sentences is crucial to success. Now, looking more at my adult life, I feel that the early and constant music education um, and training really helped guide me into my career and pull me ahead of the competition. Knowing that anything worthwhile was worth of lots of hard work, dedication, and practice, practice, practice. Now, I truly believe that being a musician added cognitive reasoning, comprehension, mental processing, and problem solving. Helped my coordination, increased eye-hand coordination, math skills, understanding, not to mention my memory capacity and muscle memory. I believe it also aids in homework and memorization and learning. Even if you have that soft music just playing in the background while you study and your brain is overly engaged in that, in your current subject at hand, musical phrases, tunes, melodies, they tend to grab hold of all the little things that you're working on. And and just as all the different strains of music and the melodies and the counter melodies and the bass lines work together, as do those facts in our head. And they go back and forth and they make that nice beautiful sound and put it along with the memory. And um, <laughs> anyway, and then our subconscious uses that tune that it created and put those things in put those facts and figures in, into those storage capacities in our heads and those little bins and so that when we're trying to recall them our subconscious can pull it up usually by pulling up the tune first and so you'll find me during a final and I'm humming along in my head of that twinkle twinkle little star for instance and twinkle twinkle oh there's the answer star oh there's the other answer it's quite fascinating and I passed my test. As a huge impact on everyday life, I feel that music has um, helped balance my inner thoughts, helped me be a well-balanced adult, and less dramatic. I love all that for the stage or my friends. Now, this leads me to my second point. Music refines the human mind, body, and spirit. <sighs> Again, let's not take my word. For Baycrest Health Sciences of the University of Toronto, music stimulates the brain, engages our memory, and makes us feel great. You probably notice that certain types of music can give us different types of mental boost. Some styles enhance creativity. Chants or low tempos help you relax. The Baycrest Sciences also help Health Sciences also states that music has many benefits. It can help reduce stress, improve our mood, connect us to our memories, and encourage social activity, all of which are important to keeping our brains healthy and our spirits alive. Now, they also list some other reasons to add music to your life. Elevate your mood, relieve your pains, reduce stress, remember the good old days, stay sharp, socialize, and aid in a good night's sleep. In an article presented by John Hopkins University and written by Bruner, we all know how greatly music affects our feelings and energy levels. Without even thinking about it, we use music to create our desired moods, to make us happy, to enjoy movement and dance, to energize, to bring back powerful memories, to help us relax and focus. Music is a powerful tool for our personal expression within our daily lives. It helps set the scene for many, many important experiences. 
<clears throat> Throughout time, people have recognized and intentionally used the powerful effects of music and sound. In the 20th century, the Western scientific, scientific community has conducted research to validate and expand our analytical knowledge of music. This research supports that what we have known from personal experience, music greatly affects and enhances our learning and living. In the article, The Emotional Sounds of Chills Induced by Music, written by Panscape, we learned that music modifies moods and emotions interacting with the brain mechanisms that remain to be identified. One powerful emotion effect induced by music is shivery, goose flesh skin sensation, commonly called chills, thrills, or goosebumps. We may reflect on the brain's ability to extract specific kinds of emotional meaning from music. Dr. Jockers of the Exodus Health Center explains that classical music has been noted to calm and relax blood pressure. Research shows that listening to calm, gentle music for a few minutes each day has a tendency to stabilize blood pressure. Though suffering from neurological conditions have seen improvements from music therapy, this style of therapy stimulates unique regions of the brain and enhances the blood flow, revitalizing the brain's metabolism. Therapy of this type was made popular by Dr. Oliver Sacks and was featured in the movie um, oh, The Awakenings, in case you've seen it. Now, he included this great visual here, and this is our brain's reaction to music. On the left, you see that our brains, how our brain looks and the activity going on at rest. And this is what it looks like a few minutes later with the stimulation of music and how much it just comes alive. The red and yellows um, indicate the increased brain activity in this as you're looking at it. Just quite fascinating to see the real big benefits that it adds. Now the next visual hi highlight that he also included was music in the brain. Now it describes our healing powers of the brain. It, decreases anxiety, to go over a little bit, it decreases anxiety, speeds up healings, increases optimism, decreases pains. It taps into our primal fears and certain sounds that humans automatically associate with death and they tap into our evo evolutionary fear um, screams and other warning sounds that we hear. Uh, we know that we, if we hear other living things making those noises and those screams that we must react. Something bad is about to happen. That's why we react so strongly when we hear Jaws or something else and you hear that do dum do dum do dum you know you gotta get out of that water or you're gonna die. Movie directors make great use of this knowledge every single show. Babies, they even know as young as five months old they can distinguish between upbeat and gloomy tunes such as Ode to Joy which is bum 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 ba da dum versus Beethoven. Da -da -da -dum, da -da -da -dum. It's fascinating that at that young that our, we are picking up on it. Now, it also goes into explain um, how it increases our incredible our memory incredibly just for sounds. Alzheimer's patients can recall and sing songs long after they've forgotten the names and faces. They can sit down and play a song that they learned 20 years ago, but they can't remember their daughter's name. Growing evidence is that listening to music helps stimulate lost memories and even restore some cognitive function. It creates our bo it boosts our creativity. Um, it ener energies through the production of uh, boosts creative energies through the production of alpha and theta waves. Now, large influxes of the alpha waves induce states of enhanced creativity, where theta waves are associated with dreaming, relaxing, and learning. Now it also kind of introduces the Mozart effect, and I don't want to go into too much um, emphasis with this right now, but um, listening to classical music, particularly Mozart, enhances our cognitive, te our cognitive tests um, before and after. Kind of like when I was talking about how we learn and how we recall things from music. Um, referring back now... Referring back to the, Metro the Metropolitan School of Arts some more, learning to play an instrument takes time and effort, which teaches patience and perseverance. Musicians have to work through difficult sections of music multiple times in a row before they can play it correctly. Practicing often and working on the hardest parts require perseverance. The best musicians in the world are masters of discipline. In Davis's article, 10 Good Reasons to Learn a Musical Instrument, and it's not too late, she states, playing a music acts as a form of therapy, having calming effects on the mind and body. 
In particular, music has been found to reduce blood pressure levels, while other studies suggest that music therapy helps children and teens with attention deficit disorder, insomnia, depression, and a myriad of other things. In conclusion, you can see it's easy to recognize the myriad of benefits just while focusing on two points. Research shows that music holds a great power for all individuals because it greatly improves our interpersonal skills and has the ability to refine the human mind, body, and spirit. And I'm not just talking about classical. <laughs> Through, though embracing these points and the power of music in our everyday lives, we first become better communicators, co-workers, spouses, parents, friends, and second, while finding the peace and the refinement of our minds, bodies, and spirits. I challenge each of you, be true to yourselves, and find a way to be a musician again. Pick up those old dusty instruments. Soak those reeds for a good hour. <laughs> Get the frogs out of your throats. Start to play again. Or sign up for a class and learn how. Remember, it's never too late. Ludwig van Beethoven said, Music is the electrical soil in which the spirit lives, thinks, and invents. I believe that music has helped me navigate the challenges of life. As clarity often comes to my soul, and it is soothed from alone time. The graceful movements across the ivory keys, while the oldest and the most universally understood language makes everything so much more aligned and in tune. I thank you for having me here. I'd like to open up the opportunity for any questions. you have any? Thank you. Their question was, does music really make me smarter? Let me tell you this. So in an article by Ed Hill in World Magazine, she recounts, music does make you smarter. That's the conclusion. <laughs> From a recent study of children who spent at least two years in learning to play a musical instrument in the Harmony Project, which is a Los Angeles-based nonprofit that provides free music and instruments to music lessons and instruments to low-income students from gang-ridden neighborhoods. The Harmony's project founder, Margaret Martin, noticed several years ago that many of the program's music students were not graduating high school. Were not only graduating high school, but headed to UCLA, Tulane, and other notice notable universities. They were regularly beating the odds compared to the neighborhood peers, and she wondered, um, and she wondered why. Thus promoting the research from the Northwestern University, looked at the Harmony Project students, analyzing their graduation rates and other markers of academic studies. The study tracked 44 students over two years as they learned to play an instrument. Now, the results published in the Journal of, Natu of Neurosciences show evidence of measurable changes in the brain. The research believed that musical training caused those changes allowing the students to process sounds more easily. That increased ability to direct translates into directly translates into improving reading and speech skills. Any other questions? <clears throat> yes. So their question was, why does Mozart have more of an effect than the other composers? It's a great question. John Hughes, a neurologist at the University of Illinois uh, Medical Center in Chicago, examined hundreds of com uh, compositions that concludes that music sequences that regularly repeat about every 20 to 30 seconds, just as Mozart's compositions do prevalently, may trigger the strongest response in the brain because function of the central nervous system, such as the onset of sleep brain wave patterns, also occur in 30 second cycles. So as they align, that because they do align, they make them. Um, that's why it has more of, of an effect. He notes that the minimalist music by the composer Philip Grass and other popular tunes score among the lowest on, on this measure, while music of Mozart scores two to three times higher. N any other questions? Yes. They ask, does music play an impact on the effects of Alzheimer's, cancer, epilepsy, cardiovascular, other psychological problems? They do, actually. Um, and according to Baker scientists, music can help an adult with dementia connect with memories, um, emotion, with memories, emotion, and people in the world around them. Dr. Jockers, uh, we mentioned him before, he's highlighted some research on both Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. Alzheimer's disease is associated with damage to the temporal lobe. The temporal lobe um, processes and directs your memories. Music helps us stimulate that, those memories, which can have a positive effect on Alzheimer's disease. Um, further research has found that listening to music 
in directly collect memory fragments can otherwise remain fra fragmented. This can help to help provide emotional comfort as well as improves the brain function. Additionally, he goes in about um, Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a pathological